And then reliable broadband service in the NTIA, that is considered to be fiber. Uh, cable modem service would be considered under that. I believe it or not, DSL, which makes no sense. And then uh, fixed wireless, if it's licensed, if, let's say it's all licensed technology. What is not considered would be um, unlicensed fixed wireless and then satellite. Those are not considered reliable broadband service. So th those would be alternative technologies that you can use if the reliable broadband service is not possible, let's say, due to the cost. So, and you see here, uh, why one reason I think satellite would not apply, because uh, it's not talking about speed so much here, is, um, let's see, uh, certainly available. Uh, adaptability to changing end user requirements. Uh, I don't know how possible that's gonna be, because right now the speeds are not anywhere near, let's say, GPON service. And like I said, you can get fiber up to 25 gig today, and it's gonna go even higher in the future. Uh, and then it says, uh, what else is there? Length of serviceable life. Um, these satellites, I think the serviceable life of them are like five years. Um, now that doesn't mean that you know in five years your satellite service stops, but you gotta keep replacing them with satellites. So uh, Elon Musk and then Amazon or whoever gets involved in this, they're gonna have to deorbit these satellites and they could make improvements over time to maybe make them stay up there longer. But if you're having to replace those satellites over and over again, uh, the serviceable life of those, that's a potential risk. Uh, that you've got to continue to do those launches and the, the costs involved in that. And, and that's another reason that I think satellite's not your first choice. And it, it's, to me, one of the issues that I'm seeing in the, uh, the messaging from the Trump administration as far as uh, uh, Lutnick and Roth, if they're going to be in there, and folks like Ted Cruz, is that they, they put satellite one and then they put the others last you know like the most expensive thing that like fiber they want to put last because they're like we can get everybody covered with satellite well that does not meet these requirements so i don't i don't think they're going to be able to make too many changes here because again i think the law if you read it i think a challenge could be made that this really is referring to to fiber that when congress originally put this out uh, they were thinking about fiber services as the priority kinds of bro broadband projects they wanted and that Reliable broadband service could include other services, but unlicensed fixed wireless and satellite were not gonna be included in that. And then it says, you shall prioritize funding for deployment of broadband infrastructure for priority broadband projects. So again, look at how it reads here, that would be fiber. So I am reading this to say that you shall first prioritize your fiber broadband projects, your priority broadband projects. Because again, best latency, best speeds, best reliability, absolutely the best to expand even now we don't have to wait for the future to get up to 25 gigas already there so by far this is time about fiber